So, I wasn't really planning on talking about fixed TF2 again, but we've got a nice little development that's been cooking up in the oven here. So a few days ago, on r slash TF2, a brave soldier stood atop his soapbox to tell the world, Downvote me all you want. We should peacefully invite the CS2 community to ally with us. Fix both of your games, Valve. Operation Team Strike would be a cool name. Now, it seems that a lot of people are fucking with this pretty hard. I've seen a lot of people on the, on the TF2 community be like, Yeah, let's do this shit. Uh, I haven't really, uh, I don't know what the general response is for CS2. I'm not part of the community, I don't, I don't know. But it, it looks like uh, there's some positive reception to it, which is good. And, uh, you know, hopefully the sheer amount of fucking people that TF2 and CS2, you know, house, will be enough to get Valve to get off their lazy fucking asses and actually update their games. I don't know if you know this, but I've heard that uh, Valve, the reason for not doing this whole thing, for, for updating their game, f fixing their vac, and you know, getting rid of the cheaters and such, is because it's treadmill work. Do one thing, and then they have to keep doing more. Now, call me crazy, right? But to an average person, that's what we in the biz like to call regular fucking work. Now, the Valve employees probably don't know this, because they're used to getting happy endings after every single fucking line of code that they write. And then after that, when they get fucking tired, they go over to their spa and eat donuts off the table, you know? It's it's fucking ridiculous, the kind of lavish lifestyles they live in that damn building. And what do they do to deserve it? Nothing. Not a, They made good games fucking 400 years ago, alright? That's it. Valve is nothing today. Not worthy of respect, or really anything. Besides a boycott and sh shit talk from their communities, which is what we should be giving to them. So brothers and sisters from the TF2 community, and brothers and sisters from the CS2 community, and maybe some of the five people that still play Left 4 Dead that are getting DDoSed, you come in here too, because you also matter. Valve is treating our games like shit, and it's not okay. They offer these games as playable, and they are not. And that is unacceptable business practice, and it's not something that we should stand for. So yeah, when the TF2 Summer Update comes out, don't buy any keys, don't buy any cases. Honestly, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna straight up delete the cases from my inventory when I get them. I'm just gonna straight up just not, not open them. I'm gonna just completely delete them. And you know, for you CS2 people, I don't really know how that stuff works, but when you get like cases, don't fucking buy them. Delete that shit too. You know, don't contribute to this e these economies because Valve doesn't fucking care. You know, they're they're get, they're chucking all this shit for us to spend money on. Well, they give us an, a non-functioning product in return. It's it's not acceptable, and we should tell them that. Vote vote with our wallets here and not buy anything that they give us because they don't deserve the money. They don't deserve a single penny from us. And with you Left for Dead folks, I don't I don't know what your situation here. It's like a paid game, isn't it? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's. A like, what, like five bucks or something? Which means that it should be fucking playable. You know, that's not a wild request. It should be playable. If you have to pay money, or if there are microtransactions, it should be a functioning, working, playable game, Valve. Alright, get that through your thick fucking skulls. So yeah, do some boycotts, sign that save.tf petition. Keep making this stink, because, uh, shit just keeps getting better. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, that's about it. See ya.